Hey guys, it's Belinda. In this video, I'm going to show you how to override the visual graphics settings in your Revit model using Dynamo. I've modeled four simple walls in my Revit project, but I want to change the color of them using Dynamo. I'm going to open Dynamo, dock it on the right side of my screen. And the first node I'm going to create is a Select Model Elements node. And I'm going to select the two right walls and bring that into Dynamo. You can see the element IDs have changed over there. Next, I want to specify the color that I want to change these walls to, and I'll do that with a code block. The syntax for specifying color is color dot by ARGB. Um, and you can see over here the explanation for that. A stands for the transparency of the element. RGB is just red, green, and blue. So I'll keep everything zero except R. I'll set that at to 255. So that should give me solid red color walls. I'll then create a fill patterns node and I'll just keep that as solid fill. The fourth node that we need is a Python script node and we need three different inputs going into this Python script. When we open up this custom Python script, we can just delete everything that's already in there by default. I'm going to copy and paste all these add references, proto-geometry, Revit nodes, Revit services, and Revit API. They're just standard packages that you need to bring into your Python script in order for it to run properly. I'll make a separate video explaining what all of those mean. This line over here for the document manager instance basically tells this Python script that the current Revit file that's open in the background of the Revit project, that's what we need to access and manipulate. Now I'm going to assign those three inputs to three different variables. The first walls, and I'll unwrap the two walls that we brought in. The second variable will be new color. And instead of unwrapping it, I'm actually going to define a function. I'll come back to that. And the third variable I'll specify is fill pat, and I'm going to unwrap that solid fill pattern that we specified. Let's define this convert color definition. Now, the reason we need this is because the colors that we specify in Dynamo are different than the colors in the Revit database. So we just need to convert the red, green, and blue to the Revit red, green, and blue. So once that's done, we're going to start a for loop, looping through all these walls that we brought into the Python script. So for I in walls, I'll start a transaction. Now this is not necessary in starting a transaction and closing it off. It's just good practice because it tells your Python script when something starts and when it ends. So in this for loop, I'm going to create another definition and I'll call it override graphics. So in this override graphics definition, I'm going to use three different variables. The first is one wall. So that will be the value in I, the variable I. The second will be the new color variable, which should be red. And the third will be fill pattern or solid. Let's create this override graphics definition. Again, we're bringing in those three elements and we'll create yet another variable, call it OGS. So now we're going to change two different values in this variable. The first is set projection fill color and the second is the fill pattern ID. Now, the good thing is once you start typing, it actually gives you a hint of all the different parameters that you can change. So here you can see set projection fill color and set projection fill pattern ID. So for those two, we're going to set them as color, which is red and fill dot ID, which is solid. Finally, we have to specify that these element overrides are going to be applied to the current active view in our Revit project, which is the 3D view that we have open on the left. So now that we're done, I'm going to just accept the changes and run it. So you can see I have two errors, one on line 35 and one on line 27. I'm just going to open it up and see what happened. So on line 27, 
ID is actually just a capital I and lowercase d, so that that's one of the errors. So that should work now. Yes, it did. So it changed the color of two of those walls to just solid red. Now, if I change the fill pattern from solid to say earth and I run it again, it should change the pattern on those two walls. So you can see the top part of the walls are actually colored and have a pattern applied to it as well. Sometimes that's not the case. It just remains black or white. So let's go back into our Python script and just modify that override graphics definition a little bit. In addition to changing the fill color, we're also going to change the cut fill color. And in addition to the fill pattern ID, we're also going to change the cut fill pattern ID. So that just ensures that every part of that wall changes color and changes pattern. Okay, now I'm going to show you a different way of writing this script. The first way we wrote it, all the walls have to be the same color and the same pattern. What if you want each wall to be a different color? So let's make some changes to that custom Python script. In the code block, I'm going to select three different colors. The first will be red, second green, and third blue. And I'll do this by just changing the zero and 255 values. And next thing I'll do is bring in three walls instead of just two using that select model elements node. So now we're bringing in three walls, three colors, and one fill pattern into this Python script. So the first thing I want to do is modify the for loop at the end of it. I want to get the value of i. So for what I mean is, if you have three different walls, the first time i is going to be zero, second i is going to be one, and the third time i is going to be two. So I'm going to change that for loop definition. Instead of it being for i in walls, I'm going to say for i in range of the length of the wall list. That will give me the actual value of i. I'm also going to change the new color variable to new color list. And instead of going directly to my definition, I'm just going to unwrap that list. Next, in my for loop, using the value of i, I'm going to extract the new color list value, the equivalent value. So what I mean by that is new color list of zero would be red, new color list of one would be green, new color list of two would be blue. Once I get that, I'm going to take it to my convert color definition and then bring that color back into my for loop. Now when I run it, there's another warning and this time it's in line 38 and line 29. And the reason for that is I didn't change I to walls of I. So I need to get the actual wall and not just an integer. So now that that's done, it should work. So when you run it, you can see on the left that one of the walls has changed to red, the other changed to green and the third changed to blue. So this was a really simple application of the Dynamo script and the Python script, but I think it's a good solid base for changing the graphic settings in your Revit model. You can run with it and manipulate it in different ways. And I think there are lots of um, uses for it. I'm going to link both the Python scripts in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for other Revit and Dynamo tutorials I can make. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.